Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So today I'm looking at uh, Scatter. Not that particularly I'm looking at Scatter. Actually, what I'm looking at is Scatter as a DAP discovery uh, mechanic. So in the blockchain uh, world, we all know there's plenty of blockchains out there and you need a wallet to interact with these different blockchains. So a wallet, um, just to get it clear, our, our cryptocurrency, our tokens are not held in the wallet. There's obviously held on the blockchain. Um, but what the wallet's doing is basically allowing us to interact with the blockchain, i.e. move that money around. So the wallet is looking after our private keys. That's what the wallet's doing. Uh, no no crypto in the wallet, but just the private keys. Um, but because we have so many wallets, um, and wallets obviously are, uh, you need a wallet to interact with any of these dApps. Um, then wallets are pretty important. They're kind of a choke point, a bottleneck, we could see it, for, for the DAP ecosystem, particularly, um, obviously, with my view, uh, gaming. Um, and Scatter is pretty well known. Uh, it's branched out a lot since, but kind of certainly started out as as one, as probably the, the best um, wallet for interacting with um, the EOS blockchain, which is what, actually what I use it for. Um, and I'm using it, obviously, as a, this is the desktop. Um, uh, it's a desktop 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 wallet sorry um okay but what i'm looking at today is is how these wallets have um, as well as allowing you to interact with blockchains have kind of added this functionality which allows them to um kind of highlight dApps um, which you might want to check because if you've got a wallet um, and maybe you've got some current currency in there some tokens you might want to actually go and do some stuff in there um and obviously for games that, that's pretty important uh now, for me, um, obviously, the, the main thing for, for someone like Scatter is not they are not a, a, a DAP distribution platform. That's not what they do. They're not a discovery platform. But they, 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 they put these things in here. So we can see here they kind of organize this by different um, sectors. So there's gambling, tools, games, exchanges, social, block explorers, blah, 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 blah. Um, obviously, this uh, is not particularly well laid out. I mean, this is not the, this is not the fundamental um, thing for Scatter, although potentially I would think... Um, for wallets, they can obviously kind of earn and referral money through these sort of things, so they should make a bit more of an effort. Um, what's interesting, you see gambling first. Now, I imagine Scatter kind of know what their users like to interact with, so that's gambling is first for a reason that people are really into gambling. And actually, gambling has quite a high um, throughput in terms of get, if you're into gambling on the blockchain, you're always looking for new dApps to see if they provide new experiences, and, and there's quite a lot of churn on those. Uh, so that kind of makes sense. The tools one. Um, I don't know about tools, but this seems these seem seems pretty kind of boring and dull to me. Uh, I care about games, so let's have a look at games. Let me see here games. Um, see, there's 22 um, apps, DApps, I suppose we would say. So we can click on this and look at um, all of them. And I would say um, this this selection is kind of quite weird actually. That this selection of of DApps hasn't really changed very much um, since I've started using Scatter. Um, so it's not really a heavily curated uh, selection. Um, and you can kind of see, it, and actually the, the order of this of, of this kind of deck it seems to be random. So every time you load it, it's, um, it kind of has a random selection. But what's interesting is um, I'm using Scatter, or Scatter is generally used as for EOS. So all these games are EOS games. Um, and if we kind of go through them, I don't know why Trongu is there and it's not showing an icon anyway, but yeah. I mean, it scattered, scattered does work with other blockchain, so so you can use it for Tron. So maybe that's why it's there. But all basically, basically all these ones, as far as I can see, are uh, EOS games. But the majority of them, I've never heard of. Um, and I would I would hazard a guess, without being too rude, that the majority of them are not worth playing. Um, unfortunately, that's the case with a lot of blockchain games. So we kind of have this situation where it seems like, oh, we've got 22, 22 um, get games that we could kind of go and check out using using Scatter as our as our wallet system. But actually, when you th when you look at it, and when I certainly when I compare this with you know looking at DApps and how many users they have on DAP Radar, say um, you can see that they're just the vast majority of these games um, just don't have any users at all. If we look through uh, and we can see some of them that, that kind of are there or ones that we've kind of heard of, so there's Zero X Warriors um, from the Zero X Games team. Um, there's EOS Knights at one point was it was a massive uh, game on EOS and then got kind of destroyed by the by the um, network. Raiders is from the obviously the same Zero X team. I don't think that game's even out yet. Um, Sword and Magic. So this is why actually I use Scatter and why I kind of came up. Why I look at this a lot. Um, I use I play Sword and Magic quite a lot um, and I use Scatter to interact with that. Um, Blockchain Cuties, of course, we all know Blockchain Cuties has been around for um, well over a year now. Um, is on EOS, but but not many people, hardly anyone plays it on EOS. So there's basically no um, no usage on EOS, mainly on Tron and Ethereum. Prospectors actually quite a big game on EOS. Uh, Three Kingdoms is um, 
kind of like Three Kingdoms and Eos Dota, these kind of Chinese games, um, which are kind of copy, slightly copycatty and not very, really, you can't really play them unless you're Chinese in terms of the language and stuff. Um, and the rest of these ones, never heard of them. So effectively, you, you could reduce this, this, this um, deck of 22 daps easily down to 10 and probably down to less than that. And I kind of think what's interesting is if, if, if wallets like Scatter um, do really care about being um, kind of a discovery um, kind of platforms, which I think is very important for the ecosystem, um, then they need to think a bit more about just having loads of icons. And you can see it doesn't look very nice like the Crypto Legends one. I don't know what they've lost. They, they lost the uh, graphic for that. It's just got some sort of placeholder default. Um, so it'd be much better off instead of having 22, would be having like, you know, six or seven, these are really good dApps that people are playing and, and you're getting a good experience. And then then a couple of slots where they can kind of just slot in new, as new games come out, you can slot them in there. Um, and I kind of think often, like the whole blockchain thing, we're often very focused on the technical side of how do we interact with blockchains and obviously with wallets, they want to make sure it's it's kind of secure and people can't nick your private keys and all this sort of stuff. Um, but actually, when it gets to the user experience, we're actually pretty bad at that. Um, and the user experience is really what enables a mass adoption. So it may seem like a pretty small point, um, but in general, it's not just a scatter thing. I'm going to do some videos about some other wallets as well. Um, in general, we are not dealing with this as an industry um, very well. So anyway, that's just my uh, the beef to get off my chest <laughs> today. Um, thanks for watching the video. So um, blockchain gaming world is all about the world of blockchains. Um, if you're into blockchain uh, games, uh, then please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any comments about um, uh, this kind of discovery mechanic and what wallets should be doing, um, please put them in the comments box. But thanks for watching the video and hope to see you again soon.